Hello, everyone! Welcome back to this game! Yeah, I was gonna guess that we would be playing this again and doing 200 rings. Well, I mean, not specifically 200 rings, but I just knew that we'd be doing a ring challenge. It's a little hard to get in here, but I made it. No, oh, hold on a sec. Is Light Dash a thing? Nobody's ever told me how to Light Dash. That's unfortunate. It totally figures though. Every time we have a Sonic level. It is followed by us trying to collect rings in the same level. And then there will also be some sort of random challenge as we play through the level again. That is one advantage that the Werehog levels have. Sure, they are long, and you have to go through three of them in a row before you make any sort of progress. But at least the levels are different each time. I did that badly, huh? Not my best one. At the same time, I wouldn't mind if the Werehog levels also had us do a special challenge of some sort. Not necessarily by replaying the same level over and over again, but... I would like to have different challenges and uh, I don't know how to do that. Special challenges and different levels. But you can't have everything. Okay, hopefully I'm doing good here. Got yeah that time. I was supposed to boost there, I guess. And just barely managed to get that goal. So these ring challenges are actually getting a little more difficult. Okay, time for the same level. Some random challenge. What do you think it's gonna be? Oh, unlocking random missions of other sorts as well. Oh, we got a cutscene? Are we done? With the Sonic stuff, then? We've been all kinds of places, but so far nobody knows me. Oh, right, that whole amnesia thing. That's unfortunate. Next stop, Chunnan. Let's go, Sonic. Oh, it was just one challenge that time. Whatever, I unlocked more. Let's keep going. Use the wall jump to get through. That was kind of tricky my first time, but hopefully it won't be so tricky this time? There weren't actually that many... Use the L stick to move towards a wall. And press the B button to perform a wall jump. Okay. If you see two walls close together, it's wall jump time. Make like a ninja and zip 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 on up. Oh. So I feel like the game initially expected me to drop down and smash through those boxes. 
So I did a good by realizing I could wall jump up. Of course, the game kind of gave me a pretty good hint considering the ring placement. So that was like a tutorial just in case you didn't know wall jumping was a thing, huh? Well, okay. Oh, reach the goal and scathe. Okay, I've taken damage a couple times, so we'll see how well I can do this. I'll, I'll just have to use the boost. Ample usage of the boost. As long as I don't have to deal with that flying thing, because I took a lot of hits from that. Oh, goodness me, it's going to be the flying thing. How do I not take damage from you? Not my best one. This might take a couple of attempts. If I can destroy it first, that would be good. That was not the way to start that. Not my best one. Okay, so he starts with that laser beam. I'm not sure what allows me to get close to him to attack. So we'll do a little bit of this, if I need to. Then he gets close, okay. No! How do? Bear Force says to try a somersault, as in jump? I mean, I guess I could try jumping, but he shoots so many of those. Unless I can, like, dash into him to tell him, hey, knock it off with those. Or, hey, Maybe I can blow up the missiles coming at me. Something to try, I guess. Oh, oh. I missed a thing. There was a thing there. I could have totally got some sort of secret. No! Ah! Well, goodness is, I get another attempt at that thing. Not my best I don't like this thing. No, the... Not my best one. I was so focused on dodging the missiles, I forgot that he did the laser thing after the missiles. Man, I am really glad that this does not have Sonic 06 load times. No! Okay, the uh, missiles are a little bit difficult to dodge whenever I'm on the side because they have different timings. So I'll stay directly in front of him so that the missiles are more likely to hit at the same time. Preferably the ground, and not me. I went to there. I got an item! Ah, oh, I missed my chance to hit him again. I think I got this. Oh, sure enough. Two hits is what it takes to get rid of him. Okay. Oh, boy, that was annoying, but I finally got rid of him. Only took me five minutes. That's not terrible. No, wait, I'm looking at the time wrong. I'm not sure how long that took me to try to do. But I did it. The key was to not be off to the side whenever he did the missiles. 
Okay, so that's it for Spagonia. What am I gonna do now? Chanan. Let's go ahead and head to the village and see what we got. And potentially what somebody else might have. Well, let's go eat. Yay, Sonic! Thanks for saving Grandpa. I was so worried, and now I'm so hungry. Maybe I have a little something in my pocket. Let me see. Is it chocolate? Hey, what's this doing in here? I can't eat this. You can have it. Alright. So, um... How did, how did you not know that was in your pocket? It's clearly not something you want, so... Oh, what? What? Secret Mission 2. Head to the sun door. Okay. We'll, we'll do that eventually. Did I find Secret Mission 1? Nobody's at the lantern shop. Water flow away. Shuifan. For rescuing the Elder, you have earned a well-deserved rest. Uh, it's too early for an episode break. What? Gaia Temple? Sorry, haven't heard of it. The Elder would be the one to talk about that. We probably should have asked him when we were still with him. The Black Gate. Words can't express how grateful I am to do you, you too. My appreciation knows no bounds. I deeply, respectfully, and heartfully thank you. I really want to make a joke about your flat head, but the only thing I can think of is using it as a plate to eat off of. I could probably think of something better, given the time. Uh, Maddie Rowdy says, I mean, the times I found stuff in my pocket that didn't that remember having. Uh, I wouldn't know. I don't wear pants. I have entrusted Hua Lin with something you've been looking for. I believe you'll find her sitting on a bench down the street. Okie doke. Let's head to the street bench. You guys are awesome! You not only saved the Elder, you're going to fix the whole planet. It sure is a big world. Oh, I almost forgot. The Elder gave me something to give you. It's supposed to be very valuable, but I'm sure we can trust you with it. It's always an NPC that gives us the second half of those things. So are these going to be more day levels? Does it just feel good to howl? Is it reactionary? Does it relieve stress? We got two doors to choose from. Uh, Let's do the planet one. If a werehog howls and there are other werehogs nearby, does he start a howling? Wait. What?
But uh, hold on a sec, what? I didn't ask to start this fight again. Uh, should I fight him again? Does anything happen if I fight this thing again? The door was closed. I assume that opening the door would lead to new things. Okay, Maddie Ratty says it could look into it between streams. Yeah, uh, we can go ahead and do that. Is that door still open? It's still open? I feel like something would happen if I finished the fight again. I wonder how I find out without accidentally spoiling things. Maybe I could try it as like the last thing I do before the end of the stream. So now we're here during the day. Found the upper path again. Usually the upper path is the best path. How do I get over there? These guys move police. Oh, good. They just, they just yoinked me. They just totally yoinked me. Nope. And then there was a thing that I had to jump over. I knew those guys were going to unyoink me that time. How do I get up there? Must be uh, an exit to another path. Okay, um. Uh... Right idea, terrible aim. <laughs> Whoops. Let's, um. Try it again, but better. No, no, really. Let's let's actually uh, maybe if I boost, let's do the boost. How about uh, what? No, no, don't return to the tile screen. Let's go back in there. How, how am I supposed to get through that part? What did I miss? What, what was I missing there? Uh, I was missing that I didn't have any boost left right there. Still no idea how to get over there. Get to check out his friend. Out of my way. Oh, there was a path over to the right, wasn't there? So many different paths we could take. Probably could have found a nice amount of rings as well. Not that time. I'm on to you. If I'm lucky. Oop. This will allow me to bypass that loop. Only to find myself jumping into the water there because I was panicking because I saw a gap. What is in this direction?
Just some rings. Okay. And... Nope. Uh, missed the path there, but it was probably just rings as well. And then these are gonna shoot me off in this direction. Make sure I get this boost. Oh, uh, no, we're heading straight towards that loop again. Well, I at least get another chance at this. That was almost good. Okay, how do I do this? Like that, apparently. Someday, I'll be able to manage those quick time events. You know, it just occurred to me, that was a loop, or at the very least a half, half loop, that I did not have complete control over. I actually had to do something in order to be successful with it. That doesn't happen very often in 3D Sonic games, as far as I'm aware. Well, at least I'm making progress. I keep thinking I need to do the dash attack in order to get into those things, when in actuality, you probably hit the boost button. Let's make sure that I get across that. High spears. Friend and spears. Oh. I'm dealing with somebody with very big hands, apparently. Again, make sure that I get across those. Uh. Slowly losing my ranking. I mean, I was gonna kill you anyway, but you just gave me more reason to kill you. Okay, I didn't have to press anything for those to activate. Still at one life, so if I die, I don't have to worry about dying or the game over quite yet. I don't know whether I have to hold a direction in order to get across those, but why take chances? That looks like the end of the path, of a path rather, so I don't necessarily know that I want to try jump jumping for those. Especially since I think we're about at the end of this. I'm sitting at the lowest ranking now. What kind of camera angle was that? How much control did I have there? Don't know, doesn't matter, I beat it. With a pretty crappy reading, but... That was still a fun level. Okay, with that level taken care of, let's go ahead and head to into our third and final episode break of today's stream. And when we come back, there's a pretty good chance that we're about to play the same level, but had to collect a huge amount of rings. It might take me a couple of attempts.